This episode of Game Grammar is brought to you in part by italki. italki is a website designed to make language learning personal by connecting you to native speakers around the globe. Whether you hire a personal teacher or find a language partner to chat with, you'll find an effective path to fluency in Japanese or another language. It's an affordable, convenient way to develop your skills and learn about life in other countries. Right now, there's a buy one get one promotion on italki credit if you click the link in the video description, so be sure to check it out. Welcome, Minasan, to the Japanese Pokedex project, where we'll analyze the Japanese Pokedex entries, or should I say, Pokemon Illustrated Encyclopedia entries, and then compare it to the localized English translations. Today, we're going to be looking at Hitokage, or Charmander, because it's the only Pokemon we've captured so far. This first screen is the Mokuji, or Table of Contents. It shows different ways to sort our Pokedex. Mitsuketa Kazu is Kazu, which means number, modified by the past tense verb for to find, Mitsuketa. So, Mitsuketa Kazu means number found, referring to how many Pokémon we found. Similarly, Tsukumayata Kazu uses the past tense verb for to capture, Tsukumayata, and means number captured. Pokémon Ichiran means Pokémon Catalog, and just sorts them by the Bangojun or number order. Ironna Basho ni Iru Pokemon translates to Pokemon that are in various places and has a bunch of different habitat types you can sort Pokemon by. So we're just gonna pick Bangojun or number order and find our specimen. Hitokage comes from Hi, fire, and Tokage, lizard. Although fire lizard would be an appropriate name, Hitokage actually means salamander because it was once thought that salamanders were born from fire, and therefore had a connection to it. Hitokage has the species name of Tokage Pokémon, which means lizard Pokémon. The next two statistics we see are the Takasa, height, and Omosa, weight. Both of these words come from adjectives, Takai, tall, and Omoi, heavy, and would more literally translate as tallness and heaviness. All you have to do is replace the ending E with a Sa, Hitokage's Pokédex entry reads as such. Atsui mono wo konomu seikaku, ame ni nureru to, shippo no saki kara kemuri ga deru to yu. Atsui means hot. Well, here it does. If you look it up in the dictionary, you actually get three different definitions that use different kanji. Our three options are 1. Things that are hot when you touch them. This can also refer to passionate people. 2. Hot weather. 3. Warm hearted people. Or thick things. Yeah. The last one is a little bit weird. We'll use the first definition. You can try the others to see why they don't fit. Anyway, e adjectives modify nouns directly, and mono means thing or things, so atsui mono just means hot things. Konomu means to prefer or to like. The o marks the atsui mono as the thing that is liked. Konomu modifies seikaku, which means personality or character, so a atsui mono o konomu seikaku is a personality that prefers hot things. Ame means rain. Note the stressed a. Ah. If you say ame instead of ame, it means hard candy. Like the different atsui from before, these words use different kanji as well. You don't want to mistakenly think that candy is falling from the sky, because unless you've got shack on your side, you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. Nureru means to get wet, and the ni means in, so ame ni nureru means getting wet in the rain. When unconjugated verbs are followed by the particle to, it's a conditional statement with a cause and effect relationship. So, ame ni nureru to means if it gets wet in the rain. Well, what if it gets wet in the rain? Hey, it's shippo. Shippo means tail. But hitokage won't wiggle it like zenigame does. Saki means previous or former. But that seems kind of weird, right? The former tail? Well, it can also mean tip or point, so shippo no saki is the tip of the tail. Kara means from, so something is coming from the shippo no saki, and that something is kemuri. Kemuri means smoke, you know, the gray smelly stuff that gets in your face when you try to make s'mores in the campfire. It's smoke, not exactly rocket science. Ga is here, marking kemuri as a subject of the sentence, though not the main subject. We're talking about kemuri, but it's all in relation to what we're really talking about, hitokage. Deru means to come out or to appear, so kemuri ga deru means smoke comes out. And finally, toyu is to say. Here it is used without quoting anyone directly, so we'll translate it as, it is said. 
This is technically changing it to a passive voice, where the Japanese was not, but this feels more natural in English and we don't lose or change the meaning. So our translation is, it has a personality that prefers hot things. When it gets wet in the rain, it is said smoke comes out from the tip of its tail. Let's compare this to the official English translation. It has a preference for hot things. When it rains, steam is said to spout from the tip of its tail. It's close. They even changed to you the same way we did. I swear I didn't peek. So what's the difference between steam and smoke? Steam is water in the gas phase, which is formed when water boils, whereas smoke refers to the phenomena in which a collection of airborne solid and liquid particulates and gases emitted when a material undergoes combustion or pyrolysis. However, this brings up one last issue, which is that there isn't any reason why smoke would be made when it rains. We need solid particulates. The truth is that anything that looks vaguely like smoke is referred to as kemuri. If it's white steam, it's still a smoke-like puff. Think of a steam engine on a boat or a train. Even though it's steam, they'd say kemuri because it's there as a visible cloud. So the heat of Hitokage's fire is boiling the rainwater, making steam that they refer to as kemuri. We also have some new options at the bottom. Nakigoi means cry or growl. It shares its name with the attack, but this lets us hear the Pokemon's battle cry. Tsugi means next, and data means data, so tsugi no data means next data, or rather, more data. Finally, modoru means to turn back, and just takes us back to the Pokedex menu. For now, let's hit A for tsugi no data. On this page, our buttons change from tsugi no data. B became mae no data. Maya means both previous and front, so mae no data means previous data. We see the okisa kurabe. Okisa means bigness from oki, big, just like takasa was from takai. Kurabe is the verb kuraberu, to compare, turned into a noun by taking off its ending ru. So that picture is the bigness comparison or size comparison. Hitokage isn't very big. 0.6 meters is a little under 2 feet tall. That's about the same height as a Labrador. Bunpu means distribution, so where it lives naturally. Seisokuchi means habitat, and fume means unknown or unclear. When you plaster it over the map, the answer is pretty clear though. Nobody knows where Hidokage comes from. Which begs the question, where did Okido Hakase get it from? I can't say that I'll answer that question next time, because frankly, I don't know. Instead, we'll investigate another Pokemon. What Pokemon do you think we should catch next in order to check its Pokedex entry? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, or watch our playthrough of Leaf Green, or follow us on Twitter or Facebook, or consider becoming a supporter on patreon.com slash gamegrammar. Thank you to all of our patrons, you are all wonderful. Or you could even do all of the above. Until next time, mata ne! Daibu means considerably. Natsuku is a verb that implies emotional attachment, and Natsuita is in the past tense. Verbs that end in ku have their endings replaced with ita.